Good morning. Today I want to talk to you about new construction and some of the real pros to buying new construction, especially this time of the year. Sometimes at this time of the year, there are listings that or homes that did not close. And maybe because the interest rate um, has increased so much so that the buyer, the original buyer who put this house under contract in March to be built, to be closed at this time of the year, can no longer afford the interest rates. The other thing is maybe they've lost a job, maybe in our military world, maybe their um, PCS orders or their relocation changed. So they're no longer going to be able to buy this house. So there are specs that are on the market now that the builders are offering great incentives for. They might pay your closing costs or they're offering a 2-1 buy down on the interest rate. There are just a bunch of different options. Maybe they'll finish the basement for you, whereas normally that in the original contract, the basement was an unfinished um, lower level. The other thing I want you guys to think about, are you? it's a timeline thing too. If there's not a spec available and you're not ready to buy now, um, it takes eight months to a year to build a home right now. So unless it's already underway, and mainly because they have to pull their permits from the county, it takes a little bit longer for that. And there's nothing the builders can do about that. It's a, it's a county timeline thing, so it makes it a little more difficult. But timing, if your son or your daughter graduates from school in June, and you guys do not want to put your house on the market until June, it's probably a good time to go ahead and think about starting a new construction contract, or at least looking and seeing what the offerings are. Because what we would do is we put your house on the market once you get the occupancy permit from the new construction. So that's usually 60 days out. That gives ample time to market your home, sell your home, get to settlement, have your funds available so when you close on the new construction, it can just be a coinciding settlement and you're not homeless, and you don't have to take your stuff, pack it up, put it in storage, take it from storage, and then move it to your new home. So that's it's a timing thing. So if you guys have questions about that too, just don't hesitate to reach out. The other thing I want you to think about, new construction is appealing because it's more efficient. You got the new roof, you've got the new HVAC system, you have a much more efficient home than a traditional resale that was built 20 years ago, then maybe these are things that you need to fund five years after you've gotten in it or a year even after you've gotten in it. These are things that maybe you're gonna have to pay for. So, you know, you might wanna weigh out, you're almost paying as much for a resale house right now as you are for new construction. So weigh out those numbers and, you know, just think about, is this something that's super important to you to not have to pull $8,000 out of the piggy bank or something to put a new roof on in the next year or so or replace the HVAC system? The other thing I want you to think about is, um, do you need a more contemporary, what's your living style? Are you going to want to run up and down the stairs? Or do you want a one level that you can wheelchair into the shower? That's what we bought this house. You know, we thought one of our moms was going to have to come live with us. So this has a main level um, owner suite. And then we have another suite upstairs that, you know, one of us could have lived in while our mom lived downstairs. And this is what we're seeing in the, in the community now of buyers and families having to come together to make things affordable for everybody. So think about that. You know, are you willing to wait a year, the timeline? Do you want to choose your own finishes, choose your own fixtures, choose your own um, cabinetry? And, you know, just make sure that the floor plan is something that you're not going to have to move again in 20 years or 10 years. It's not fun. Moving is not fun. The other thing, lower maintenance. Then also in a new efficient, uh, more efficient system. And then obviously still the floor plan. So think about these things, and if you have questions, I can certainly send you the builder's incentives. They change weekly, so I'll have to update it for you just depending on which um, subdivision you're looking in, uh, looking at. And um, I'd be happy to just offer my boots on the ground experience. I am a certi certified new construction specialist because I love it, and I really think, think it is a viable option right now. For those of you that are staying here, if you need to upsize or downsize, there's some great options right now. So anyway, 
don't hesitate to reach out, you guys. If you have any questions about getting your home ready to sell or if I can talk to you about new construction and help you know what all your options are, that's what it's about. It's about knowing all your options, timelines, and what it's going to cost to do what. Bye, you guys.